Hallelujah there. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure this is going live now. And I just want to say hello to everybody who's watching. Thank you for being here today. And <clears throat> I do these every Thursday morning, unless I don't have anyone that wants to do it. But so far, I've been doing it consistently for, I, th I think, like a few months. And um, if anybody wants one, just contact me. I'll leave my contact information in the description. Obviously, it's live and it's public, and uh, but it's free, okay? <laughs> and it's also 40 minutes. Normally, I do an hour session if I'm working with someone privately. Um, this is really to show the work, to demonstrate it, to also help my students learn from watching. And for anyone else that's watching, it can be, it can have therapeutic value because it may resonate with you with something you're going through or you've experienced. That's the kind of work it is where it, it affects lots of people the person who's having it done, their ancestors, their descendants, the witnesses, and everyone that they relate to can be affected by these sessions. So, so um, yeah, they work multidimensionally. There's a mystical aspect to this work as well that sometimes it's best to leave it unexplained because then it's no longer a mystery. And uh, we're also working within the field or inside a field. It's called the knowing field or the morphogenic field. But basically, basically, it's a field of energy that holds information that comes through our feelings, our sensations. And it just requires that we be present with what's happening. And um, I don't think uh, Lily's had one before, have you? Okay, <laughs> okay, it's good. So this is your first one. Um, yeah, and uh, I just want to finish off by saying that I just appreciate everyone's, um, let's see, how do I describe it? Like viewer etiquette in the sense of we're not trying to fix Lily, we're not trying to solve her problems or anything like that. It's really to help Lily figure it out for herself and resource within her what she needs in order to, in, in, to heal her situation, whatever it may be. I don't know what it is yet. I never know how these sessions are going to turn out. And I don't assume anything. So I ask that the viewers do that too. Like, don't assume anything. Um, okay. So, Lily, do you want to introduce yourself? And then also um, just say how you know me. <laughs> so, my name's Lily. I'm based in the UK. And I kind of know Sarah because I was going to come and do a family constellations with the horses training uh, pre-COVID. And uh, I had a little bit of difficulty getting into the States. And so I never made it. Um, but it's been at the top of my list to, to try and come back and, and, and find uh, opportunities to do it here in England as well. Um, so one day I hope I'll I'll make it there with you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I'm so sorry that that, that happened. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So we've never actually met. No. And I don't think I've even spoken to you. Like I think everything was through text and emails. I think we had one call, but not never face to face like this. <laughs> yeah, right. So I thank you so much. <laughs> and, and you look lovely, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so do you have an intention, Lily, for the session? I do. And it's something that's been coming up for me uh, recently. So um, I work a lot in uh, a group setting and holding space um, in various 
communities with um, different plant medicines. And um, what I've been feeling recently is a lot of um, male attention on me and un unwanted attention and attention trying to um, take my power away as I stand more in my power. And it feels like there's a lot of lessons, but it also feels like it's really digging up something ancestrally and collectively at the same time. But I've not yet pinpointed what that 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 is. Um, and so my intention is to try and understand that a little bit more um, and 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 see if my intuition about it feeling in, in a ancestral um is 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 correct and how i can how i can navigate it okay so as far as how you can navigate it like how are you coping with it right now um it feels quite heavy it's take it it's um i'm having to distance myself a lot from various people who've um, kind of created attachments towards me and I'm having to really try and work out how I manage my energy in those spaces as well. Um, if being in my power and being myself, but without putting my uh, energy or at risk so protecting myself enough, but without closing down. And that, for me, that's the most, difficult bit is 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 learning how to navigate that space got it okay so and and these are men mm -hmm. right that are are clients of yours no so they come to the they come to the circles um and many of them have been like friends before um or sometimes there are newer people that are just meeting me and 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 i i guess when we're holding the space as well I feel it even more like it's more of like a trying to grab my attention it's um it feels very heavy and it takes a lot of my energy where I'm I'm possibly not protecting myself enough or I haven't quite figured out how to respond to that energy being directed towards me and um is it while you're under the influence is it un while everyone's under the influence both yeah both in in and out yeah but I feel obviously feel it more when I'm working with the plants okay so so you're getting a lot of unwanted attention mm -hmm. from people in these from men in these circles mm -hmm. and and then men that you've known before some are new and it feels really heavy and you feel like it's taking a lot of your power and you feel that as you get more powerful you feel like it's being usurped from you or yeah I feel like it's and I and this is where I think if it, I think it's a collective thing is women stand more in their power um it it's 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 a new thing for 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 maybe some men to experience and it's something that becomes a, 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 a attractive. It's, I know it's not just me. I've seen this happen to many other women, but it's also something that then wants to be contained and wants to be pulled back. And so as I, it's me not being able to be myself and, and step more into my power and be more of myself without having to close that app down because someone's trying to bring it down or it's not 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 and I can't I'm not sure about the, the words to 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 use but it feels like um as I rise I'm being <laughs> taken down <laughs> right so as you rise you're being taken down yeah yeah so how does that feel um confusing exhausting um makes me more afraid to stand in my own power um and and uh be myself 
Um, so when you say be yourself, what is what's that like? How are you in your yourself? <laughs> I think as I grow more into my power and I rediscover myself, it's it's like more, just being. Um, more open, more free, more alive. <laughs> um, whereas before, you know, in years ago, I was, I was always quite closed off. I was always very shy. I didn't really talk to many people. I didn't want to be seen. I was always very hidden. And now I suppose in the, in, 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 being part of these circles and and being an organizer and 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 a helper and facilitation and things like this and I'm in this position where I'm I have to you know I'm seeing people have to come to me and, and talk to me so that's where I think this this the, the energy is then focused because I I can't just like stand in the corner and not say anything um and and through that I have found more of my own power my own my own voice um allowed myself to be not vulnerable but 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 not have so many walls but as I let those walls down I'm now like I want to put them put them back up to to protect myself but I I don't want to but that's like my jolt reaction when these things happen got it so you want to you want to protect yourself? Yeah, I'm doing this a lot, aren't I? <laughs> Body language speaks louder than words. <laughs> okay, um, just tell um, you know what I I'm we're just going to do something simple. We're going to start with something simple. So we're just going to have you pick something for you and something someone for your mom and someone for your dad. Okay. Do you have a biological mother and father? Yeah. I mean, everyone does, but I didn't know if you were adopted or something. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do, can you do that? Do you have a surface? I do have a surface. So just use one of the objects to. Yeah. You're going to yeah. choose uh, one for you, one for your father and one for your mother. And then I need to see the camera down on where you're going to put them. As you're doing this, that I'm going to do something quickly. Okay. Okay. You might have to take your background thing off because they kind of go in and out of focus. I thought that. Okay. okay. Um, there you go. Yeah. Okay, this is great. Yeah, I can see that. So, um, yeah, it's a little far away, but tell there you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so tell me who's who. Okay, so this this is this is my mom. This is one of her um, art tools. <laughs> uh, this is this is my uh, this is my father, and then this is this is me, my necklace. 
Okay. Is your father a, a rock? What kind of rock is that? It's um, it's a crystal. It's a. I want to say it's tourmaline. Yeah, I thought it was tourmaline. Yeah, black tourmaline. Yeah, big chunk. That's nice. <laughs> and then uh, you, what kind of brace is that? A necklace? She said. It's a necklace. It's um, it has Durga on it. Durga. Amulet. Okay. Yeah. She's, and then this so for, for anyone who doesn't know Durga, she's a deity, a Hindu deity, right? Yeah. And uh, what's her message, Durga? Like, what's her theme? Um, <laughs> uh, her theme, I'm not going to be able to remember. It's, it's, she's, she's a warrior and I'm, I'm pretty sure she is, um does she always, ride a tiger yeah i think so yeah i always get her and carly mixed up but she's she's yeah she's a she's a warrior she brings strength and 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 protection as well is there an image of her on that yeah uh kind of it's 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 like an it's like an um, antique indian coin oh yeah Got it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It kind of looked like Carly as well. I think I always get confused, but I think sometimes they're like reincarnations of them at different times, possibly. Okay. So whoever, if it's Carly or Doga, it's a strong, powerful <laughs> warrioress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and it's on a on a chain. Yeah. And it's between you and your mom and dad, correct? Yeah. Okay. So you're in the middle. All right. If if you were if your father is looking somewhere, like facing somewhere, where would he be looking? You know, you can move him if you want, but like, like if he had a face on that rock, like where would he be facing? Um Okay, so I'm gonna use this side to him face. So he would, he'd be like facing here, like overseeing my mum and me. Or okay, like so not overseeing us, but like making sure we're in sight and that we're, we're protected. looking at both of you <laughs> and yeah. in a protective way. Yeah. Like overseeing you. So is he looking at you both at the same time? Yes. Got it. Got it. And what about your mom? Where's your mom looking? Um, in front, out ahead. So I'd that probably if I was to move them, I'd probably put her a little bit forward. She yeah, she she, she, she yeah. takes the reins. <laughs> okay, so she's actually looking towards me. Yeah. Okay, got it. And what about you? I'm I'm also looking towards you. So you're looking in the same direction as your mom? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So so that nobody's looking at each other. Your dad is looking at both of you. You mm -hmm. are looking straight ahead and your mother is looking straight ahead, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to do this. I want you to pick something to place where you and your mother is, is looking. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You don't have to know what it is. So should I make it smaller so that you can all be seen? Yeah, as long as it's in the same kind of shape that you would have, it holds the same constellation. Yeah, so that's the crystal. Is that a tiger eye? Tiger's eye, yeah, I just, picked things that that off my altar that um that wasn't on my altar but <laughs> that that called to me yeah and it can be anything you know like random stuff so so where is that looking whatever it is where is it facing so I've actually put that face I would say that that's facing towards me so and uh, direct directly towards you yeah 
And your mom is, mother is looking at it too, right? Yeah. So did you, were your parents married before? Did they have other children before you? My, my mother had, uh, she was married before she met my dad and also has, I have a half sister, yeah. Okay. And then do you have any other siblings between your, you and your parents? Yeah, I have a brother. Older or younger? Older. They're both older. Okay, so you are the youngest? Yeah. Did your dad have any kids? No. Okay. Did your mom lose any kids? Did they lose any babies, have an abortion, miscarriage that you know? Uh, of? Miscarriages, yeah. Several. How many? Several. Yeah. Like three? As far as I'm aware, she had one between all of us and maybe even one before my sister. So yeah, so about three. Is that as far as I'm aware? Okay, so you named two, but there might be another one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it felt like, I don't know, it felt like that represented more than one person, the crystal that you placed, the tie, right? Because it's so, it's kind of like a multi-dimensional, it's a multi-faceted, yeah. that's what I mean, crystal, right? And the pinnacle is up. Mm -hmm got a point on it does it and yeah it's got, so it's pointing up but it's looking at you so so when she had the miscarriage was that um you said before you or after you do you know she had definitely had one before me and she definitely had one before she had my brother and as I said I'm, I, I think she may have had one before my she had my sister as well <clears throat> okay okay so there would be three living and then three that got miscarried yeah okay um let's do let's do this let's uh hold on just have to just drop in. First of all, let's let, let, let's have you touch the, yourself there, the necklace. Just connect to yourself there and drop in. And then how do you feel there? Um, like a, the word that's coming to me is like burdenous, <laughs> like a burden. Yeah. Um, yeah. and like <clears throat> in the shadow, in the shadows. Yeah. And yeah, like right, right at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. The word that I kept hearing was carnage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you in the middle of this. Yeah, like, it does feel like that often. <laughs> so. Did your mom tell you about the miscarriages or how did you find out? Um, yes, it came about after a, a question where I think I had seen on a piece of paperwork one day something about it years and years ago. And then about six months ago, my sister and I were having a conversation and it was brought up and, th and that's how we knew, found out about the others. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so let's do now. I want you to put your hand on your mother. So, yeah, and just drop in there. So you're really sort of feeling into your mother's energy there. 
And how do you feel? And do you notice any sensations in your body? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of nervous energy, like on edge, like fluttery. Um, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain. Yeah. Where do you feel the pain in your body? In the heart space, in the chest, yeah, in the chest space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it also feels very blocked as well. Like huge mm -hmm. balls have been put, put up. Right. Right. Okay, good. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to kind of focus on your mom and you, if that's okay, mm -hmm. and this like i i definitely feel like these are the missing ones it feels like that to me and um let's um let's bring in uh two more objects that you can place with along with the tiger stone there so that they would be in a row yeah Okay. 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 So I'm just going to point out like all the, the, the missing ones are taking up a lot of space, <laughs> you know, because they, they're large. I mean, even the feather, the, like it's lighter, it still takes up more space. Yeah. And uh, it sort of felt, it feels kind of nice when you put the, those in. I don't know. How do you feel when they're in there now? It feels more, um, what's the word? Like without them, it felt like this object was feeling like really prominent and focused on me. And I think also I can like feel this energy from me to this as well, quite strongly. And then this has kind of like softened it a little yeah. bit. It feels like less, streamlined straight into to my position in battery my body being physically there as well feels more family community held okay okay so if you were to um place yourself within those three just intuitively though like, like where would you put yourself you can move move yourself there on the table you understand what i mean mm -hmm. like my feeling is that that you're more connected to this one in the middle and that could have been the one i don't know maybe it came for you or or after you so if the oldest is on the right okay so i think that would be the pine cone would be on the right the oldest is on the right yeah, from where you're seeing it, it's on the right. This is on my, this is my left. Okay, all right. From where you're seeing, then it has to be from your viewpoint. The <laughs> oldest. Oh, no, no, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to have your parents facing them. All right, so bring your parents together. Now your father's going to be on your right. Like the father's going to be on the right of the mother. Okay. okay. There you go. And they're together. Okay. All right. So they're looking and then, yeah, the oldest would be on your right as you're, if you're facing them. So the, the oldest would be on the side where the feather yeah, is. Yeah. And then we're going to bring in your sister and your brother. So they're going to be in that lineup. So there'll be a total of six objects there. Okay. Need to get some more objects. <laughs> okay, take your time. Mm 
So anyone that doesn't know anything about constellation work, there's a principle called everyone belongs. And what's happening here is we're just inviting in the ones who are missing in uh, Lily's family system. She mentioned that there were th three miscarriages as far as she knows. And uh, when we looked at where Lily and her mom were facing, they were looking at the uh, ones that didn't make it in. Okay. All right, great. So uh, can you place them where you just intuitively feel like they are so like, So, the, so your sister, what's her name? Lydia. Lydia, so where would Lydia be? Do they still all need to be in a line? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, okay. we're setting up the sibling lineup. Okay. Lydia's, Lydia's here. Okay. Can you still see that? Can you still see that? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's great. My brother, so my brother's called Richard. Okay. He kind yeah. of is there. And then Me, I kind of want to go here. <laughs> right. But aren't you older than your brother? No, I'm the youngest. Right. But I feel like I want to stop myself in here. <laughs> so, so wouldn't your brother be older than you? He'd be on your... So yeah. if, this, if this was... So, the, so check it out. So the oldest is on the if right. It, if it was true, that if it was like true yeah. life, then it would be probably this. So right, but you, but you feel connected to... I felt like I wanted to slot in here and he was there. Right. But it's, it's interesting because it kind of puts you out of order as far as what is true, that he came after you. No, you came after him, right? your brother yeah yeah so maybe he maybe he he it's possible he could be on the other side right so so what we really need to do like you need to put him before you because he came before you right and you can move the missing ones you know what i mean like like you could still have yourself next to that. Yeah, this is still. I felt, yeah, like I feel, where do I feel? And you can move the crystal. Like it doesn't have to stay right there. Do you understand? Like you can move any of them. There you go. No, I felt, no, no, I'm going to keep it like that. Okay. Because for me, I feel like these two overshadow both of us, which feels intuitively quite right. Right. In their size and prominence. And then it's kind of like every other child made it. Yeah. Right. It started off with one not making it and then your sister and then one didn't make it in and then your brother and then one didn't make it in and then you yeah mm -hmm. yeah interesting okay okay so and and uh just saying like you look like the smallest object on the entire table i am <laughs> and you know you talked about being overshadowed uh, right. So what we're doing is we we we've invited them in in their place. Yeah. 
right? So how do you feel right now? How do you feel right now in this, looking at this? Quite a big family, isn't it? Yeah, I, f I feel, I feel, pretty this is small <laughs> um I feel I don't know I'm not sure if this is a projection but the word that keeps coming up in my in my heart is misunderstood Mm -hmm. But I know that's what I feel like, so I'm not sure whether I'm just projecting it into this. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. I, I, something just came to me where, you know, it's like the, the, the living ones come right after the dead ones. And it's almost like, you know, it's almost like they could be a replacement, you know, to make up for the one that died. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And, and like, what? Go ahead. I feel like it's interesting because they're all much bigger objects than all three of us. It's like each one is like we're overshadowed by the one that didn't make it. Exactly. That's yeah, exactly. That's why I said that. Like there's sort of like <laughs> You know, how can you ever live up to the ones that didn't make it? Like, you can never be them. You can never replace them because they are who they are and you are who you are. Okay? So this is why bringing them in is really important. Because now they have a place. So I just want you to do this. I just want you to close your, your eyes and imagine that you're looking at the the sibling that is the pine cone the one that came just before you and as you look do you have a sense that you can look into the eyes of this one yes yeah, yeah. and then if 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 you can imagine they have an expression, you know, what, what's the feeling and what's the expression that you see? I'm getting a smile back at me. Yeah, that's what I, I have a sense of that too. Because I just want you to say this, like, I, I see you. Can you say that to them? I see you. Yeah. And what's their expression now? Like even warmer, they, they said, I see you too. <laughs> good. So it feels good? Mm hmm Very good. Very good. And now I want you to imagine the other one, the middle one. The one that's the um, crystal. And imagine you're looking there in, at this one, the, the sibling. And can you see their face? Like, can you see their expression? Yeah, they um, carrying a lot more pain. Mm -hmm. So go a little deeper, like, and say to them, I see you. I see you. And how's their expression now? Surprised? Yeah. Surprised. Do you have a sense of it, the gender? Female. Female, good. So I want you to tell them you have a place here. You have a place as my older sister. You have a place here as my older sister. And how's their expression now? Mm -hmm. 
warming. <laughs> There's right. like a lot of, um, you know, like if, if a child was to be introduced to someone and they kind of like hide behind someone and they're like, like and not, not quite sure, it kind of feels a bit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So they're, it's, they're warming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now go to the first one, the oldest, who's the feather. And imagine you're looking at, at them. Can you see them? No. Okay, I want you to say to them, like, I, I see you. I see you. Because even though this one is not the same dad, right? It's not your dad, correct? Correct. Not from, it, it's still your sibling because it's from your mom and it's still blood related. It's still your sibling, your oldest. And did anything change after you said, I see you? There's something emerging, not not necessarily physical form at the moment. It feels like there's a, a female energy there. Okay. Another sister. Mm. Okay. So say, I, I see you, sister. I see you, sister. now did anything change can you see their expression it's it's blurry um it feels like there's that one's like been almost dissolves under pain yeah yeah it's it's been dissolved and it like almost like layers of pain right yeah it feels like i can just see like swells of different color lights like trying to build a physical form but not not being able to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so just tell them um you belong here you belong in this family with us. You belong in this family with us. And nobody can replace you. And nobody can replace you. What happens now? Yeah, there's a little, a little girl for me. Yeah, nice. And how does it feel? It feels, it feels, it feels nice okay. to connect with these because I don't necessarily have a connection with the living ones. <laughs> so it feels nice that, that I can see them and they can see me. So I just want to say something when there's, like half your siblings didn't make it right so when there's a huge number like that i mean relative to who came in it's kind of 50 50 right mm -hmm. it can really um interfere with your relationships with your other siblings the living ones mm -hmm. and and just by doing this by having them giving them a place it balances out the energies in the family system. And you'll probably notice, you might notice a shift in your relationships with your living siblings. Okay. Good. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, so bring your, bring your uh, thing up, camera up. Yeah. So we're, we're kind of at time, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, we could go on, but I, this was really good because your issue 
is about being seen. And then mm-hmm. when you are seen, you it's not good. Like it feels that you want to hide again. Yeah. So it's negotiating you negotiating boundaries all the time. Right. And then kind of going back to this place of like the neck is like really small, but in that smallness is a lot of power. There's a warrioress in there. Right. With a lot of potential. And you said a lot, you know, I just want to be me. You said that several times. So now you can be you because all the ones who are missing have been given a place. Right. Mm. So you're not having to replace anybody or compensate for anyone. You don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, that's that's a big one. That's why I feel like I do that a lot or I'm being molded into fit something that I'm not to, sh- yeah. to, to fill a hole. Well, that was clear at the beginning, the way that your mom and you were looking at the same thing, right? Yeah. So to... I feel this is really beautiful and, and uh, I feel it's going to make a difference. It's my feeling because they all reciprocated. Like they're all, you know, like everybody wants to belong. Even the ones who didn't make it into physicality, they want to belong. And doing this as well kind of releases them from, any, you know, the pain. You talked about the mother's pain and then the one being buried underneath all the pain. It releases that just by seeing them, saying, I see you. It validates them. It's like, mm-hmm. you did exist, even though you're in a small form, you did exist for a small amount of time and you do, do belong to this family. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. It feels it feels it feels really good. Yeah. All right. All right. So so I'm gonna check in with you in about three or four days just to see okay. how you're doing. I'll email you and let me know if you notice any difference around how you feel, like around your power and you know, even or with your siblings and stuff like that and your your mom. Um and yeah, I wouldn't uh, think, I wouldn't try to dissect this or overanalyze it, like just let it unravel, if you can. Mm-hmm. And everything's going to kind of rearrange itself. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, brilliant. Thank you yeah. so much, Sarah. It's really. Yeah, you're welcome, Lily. I'm really glad to meet you finally, like even though <laughs> it's still uh, virtual. <laughs> <laughs> One day, one day. <laughs> All right, then. So I'm going to close this constellation. I'm going to honor you, Lily, and your constellation. And I'm going to bow to you and leave it with you. Thank and, you. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. And I just want to thank any, everyone for watching or, or listening. And uh, see everybody next Thursday. At, it's going to be a different time. I'm going to be working with someone in Australia, a student, and it's going to be at 12 noon P Pacific Standard Time. Okay. All right, then. Thanks. Take Bye. Care. Bye. Thank you. I'm going to end it now. <laughs>